Uganda is the largest fruit producer in the East African region. Yet, when it comes to export earnings, the country trails behind Kenya and Tanzania. The reasons? Frequent interceptions and the short shelf life of Uganda's exports. But a new intervention by Copolax, a startup based at Makere University, could change that story. Before, they would face a rejection of at least 40 to 50 percent of all the produce they were dealing with because uh, number one, the negligence of the farmers who literally handle the produce in a bad way or basically farmers who use uh, pesticides or other things that do not, uh, are not allowable in some markets. For example, like avocado, which could take average between two to four days to ripen. At times they are rejected by the market where they are taken because they would love a product that is still intact and not ripe. Uh, Capolax is here to basically solve that specific problem by ensuring that uh, there is enough time given to the exporter to export their produce without the worry that's going to be rejected because it has ripened. Copalax is a post-harvest treatment designed to prolong the shelf life of fresh produce by 7 to 10 days. It has already been tested in markets across the Middle East and parts of Asia. However, challenges remain. Regulatory hurdles, especially within the European Union, Uganda's largest market for fruits and vegetables, must be overcome. Currently, uh, our product is uh, permittable to be used in uh, United Arab Emirates, and uh, we are working in tandem with the various regulatory bodies in Europe as well to have our product certified in Europe specifically, because Europe as well has its own regulatory processes. Back home, Copalax must also navigate a difficult domestic regulatory environment. The entire process of really coming up with something in an ecosystem that does not provide a cushion, that does not provide uh, a soft landing ground for people who have ideas, who have inventions that they can bring to life, literally no one cares to lend an arm or extend the support that is needed. And I think that's one of the things that our ecosystem can do better art. If this farm succeeds, Uganda could finally close the gap with its neighbors. Kenya and Tanzania export fresh produce worth over $500,000 annually. With the right support, Uganda could be on course to meet its ambitious goal of earning $1 billion in agricultural exports by the year 2040. Rachel Naisubi, NTB Business.